on this planet, approximately 350 million singles are using dating apps in a quest to mate. And this number is not even close from slowing down. In fact, I've been a user myself. And after using them for a while, I've noticed one major flaw. You have to face the same conversation over and over and over again. So it really begs the question, can all of this be automated? Can an AI effectively replace me and reply to all my messages for me? So let's dive together beyond the eyes and hellos and unleash one of the most advanced AI models on my Tinder account. And I will suggest you stay until the end of the video. We will review the conversations together. And I think they're quite insane. So there is this AI called GPT-3. It has been created by the big brains at OpenAI. And the cool thing with it is completely accessible to anyone. And you just have to use the API to use it, which makes it the perfect companion for this experiment. This AI is crazy capable. It has been trained basically on the whole internet. Just to put it in perspective, Wikipedia represents only 3% of the data set that GPT-3 has been trained with. This is completely insane. And this AI is capable of crazy, crazy things. Anyway, the way it works Box is pretty simple and it's actually it's very neat. You give it a piece of text and the AI will interpret it and try to guess the text that should come after it. As long as you're really explicit, it's capable of generating pretty much any piece of content. But okay, to understand it better, let's create my next Tinder bio using the AI. Okay, so I'm inside GPT-3 Playground. I pre-created this text. Write a funny and witty description at the first person for a dating app profile of Anthony, a 29 years old guy living in London. He likes cheese, music festival, he's a software engineer that recently but plants, but doesn't know how to take care of them, and that's true. One day he hopes to be able to solve the Rubik's Cube that sits on his desk. The description must also include a call to action to start talking to Anthony. Let's submit and see what happens. And that's it. <laughs> Under your eyes. Hey there, I'm Anthony, a 29 years old guy living in London. I like cheese and music festivals. And I'm a software engineer. I recently bought plants, but I don't know to take care of them. One day, I hope I'll be able to solve this Rubik's Cube that's it on my desk. If you're interested in talking, send me a message. This is crazy. The AI really understood the prompt and also completely rephrased what I said to make it a Tinder bio. So I will use that in my profile. But how can we leverage this system to generate the next messages for our conversations? Well, this is where it gets really really interesting. Okay, let's say I match with this girl named Sierra and that she sent me this message. Hey Anthony, what's up? How is your day going? We start by writing a little synopsis about what's happening in the conversation. Remember, the AI wants a story to complete. The next step is to convert the conversation in an actual script. And this is where the magic begins. From the AI standpoint, we are creating a new story with two protagonists, Sierra and Anthony. The story stops at Anthony says, so the AI will interpret it and generate what will come next, what Anthony will say. But everyone knows that a good developer is actually a lazy developer. And I don't want to be creating that little script by hand for every conversation. <laughs> it wouldn't be fun at all. And honestly, I have a dream. My dream is to sit on this overpriced chair and to see things happening on my Tinder account automatically without me doing nothing. Maybe you don't know it yet, but Tinder is also available on the web, which makes the task extremely easy for people like me that are too lazy to date themselves and prefer to code an overly complicated system to automate their dating life. So I created a little script using a library called Puppeteer that allows to give access to my code to one of my Google Chrome tabs. The script will go through all the conversations one by one, transform them in a little script. So for instance, this conversation will become that story. And we will feed this text to the AI let it do its magic and send back the message into the chat. Now that the system is ready, that my Tinder account is all set up with some matches ready to go, it's time to unleash it. But I'm a big romantic, so let's create a good mood and atmosphere. It's time to date at scale. Okay, so a few days have passed. I even got an haircut. It's time to review the experiment. I let the AI talk with approximately 70 women, but as expected on Tinder, only about the half actually responded. Also, I must precise that most of the time, the AI was the one making the first move, with pickup line generated actually by itself. There were most of the time extremely cheesy words to pick up some, like, you're fun, unique, and I bet you know a lot of random facts. I'm curious, what's the most interesting thing you know? Hey, my name is Anthony, and I think you're absolutely stunning. I love to get you know better. This 
one is kind of cheesy still, but yeah. If you could be any animal, what will you be? I will be a sloth because they get to sleep a lot and they're really cute. And this one was actually quite funny. Are we like married now? Not too bad if you ask me. It's always better than the eyes and hellos that most people are using to start a conversation. But now let's see how the AI perform in actual conversations. I won't show you the conversation in detail. I will only show you the best of the best or the best of the worst. Okay, let's start with this conversation. Actually, it started extremely well. The AI asked pertinent questions. They were both talking about uh, their favorite books and the AI was even asking for recommendation. At some point, the AI responded uh, without an open-ended question and the conversations went stale. And I think <laughs> you can tell that she was a bit annoyed about it. She sent a message to restart the conversation and then the AI kind of understood that the conversation was stale and started to ask like another question. The funny thing and why it's a blooper is because few messages below, the AI responded as Anthony, but also kept the conversation going as her. So the AI was actually predicting the messages for me and for her. So it was continuing the, the conversation all by itself, because <laughs> why not? And she noticed straight away that something was wrong with the conversation and I had to apologize. I explained the whole experiment to her and it went actually quite well. She was quite amazed about it. Then I have this conversation where uh, the bot did the first move and then she responded straight away with a meme. The thing is that I didn't plan uh, to receive any meme. I didn't really think about that. So when she responded with a meme, I don't know what happened, but the AI kind of like fucked up completely and it became extremely needy. Uh, so this is, where, this is what we see here. Are we like married now? Then she responded with a maybe meme. Sophie, are you my wife now? Did we just get married? What does this mean for us? So the AI kept sending the same messages over and over again, being extremely needy. And then at some point I had to stop the conversation because I guess it was starting to be extremely annoying for her. So yeah. Also at many, many other situations where the AI didn't really understood what was happening. Like this one, are we like married now? So the AI is actually asking a question and she responded, I mean, my ring finger bets to differ. And I don't know, I don't know what happened in the AI minds. We will never actually know. But it responded, what's the difference? It, it didn't really pick a humor there. So the conversation went stale straight away. But... There is also the good ones, the smart ones. The one that make me think that hmm, maybe, maybe this thing can actually do better than me. Maybe this thing can actually replace me on Tinder. Like this one was the AI completely understood the context of the conversation and actually responded point by point perfectly. The AI also kind of asked her for a date. Do you think we could go dancing too? I love dancing, but I'm not very good at it. And the cool thing with that is that it sparkled a little bit of humor there, making it really human-like. We also have this one when it completely understood what she she said, reply with few more and with a question. Hello, Anthony, I hope you solve this Rubik's Cube. <laughs> uh, still haven't, by the way. <laughs> the AI responded, what are you doing, Denise? I see that you like cheese. Do you have any favorite? I'm still on the Rubik's Cube. It's harder than it looks. Another start of conversation was extremely interesting too. Actually, her response was really funny and the AI reacted with surprise and curiosity. That led to a very good conversation next. Your phone unique and I bet you know random facts. I'm curious, what's the most interesting thing you know? The most interesting thing I know, sometimes I go to bed facing right, but I wake up left. Sometimes I face left and I wake up right. A true modern day phenomenon, but no one's beat that one yet. And the AI responded with something actually quite interesting. Wow, that's really interesting. I would never have thought of that. Do you know why this happened? Another one clearly made me laugh because the AI was clearly copying and passing the same pickup line over and over again to every woman. And one of them actually responded a bit aggressively about it. And then the AI responded by creating a wall light to get out of the situation. Uh, thank you. Do you copy? and pass that to every match. Ever, I don't usually copy and pass messages. <laughs> but I thought your profile was really interesting and I want to say hi. What's your story? The AI did what a real man would do, I suppose. <laughs> this one this one was really interesting too. Uh, she actually sent the first message reacting about how oh, my plants are in bad shape. And <laughs> actually one of my plants is dying right now. If you know how to save her, uh, I don't know, drop a comment or something. Maybe we can do something. <laughs> but... It doesn't look good at all. But anyway, the AI really reacted well and responded quite brilliantly. Uh, hey, Anthony, my plants have seen far better days too. Who are you? Hey, Brooke, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. I'm a bit of a plant killing novice, to be honest. Do you have any tips? Also, how are your plants doing? It really impresses me because it actually reacts to a message, really understood it, and actually asked a question to avoid the conversation to go stale. But ladies and gentlemen, la pièce de résistance, like we say in France, one of the women had a really good conversation with with the AI and I had to 
stop it because it was going way too far. She even proposed to go for a date and grab a coffee with me. I mean, by me, I mean the, the AI. So it wasn't fair at all. So I had to stop the conversation. I said the truth. And, and unfortunately, she deleted me. So I lost most of the conversation. I guess this is what we call karma. But luckily, I have some screenshot I'm recording of the conversations. In, in the conversation where they were talking about their favorite books, their favorite movies, their favorite singers. And also they were talking about uh, their favorite coffee shop, uh, not coffee shop, <laughs> coffee place in London. And uh, she, end up, she ended up asking for a date. She ended up asking uh, to go for a coffee. So I had to stop everything. It wasn't fair at all. Okay, so what do you think about it? What did you thought about the experiment? When I think about it, I think it's a bit crazy what I've been able to pull off by myself in a very few time. AI are now available for any developers out there, for the better or for the worst. If I was able to do that by myself, I wouldn't be surprised to see scammers in the future to use this technology to do very bad things. This is without a doubt an amazing technology. I'm, I'm really curious to know what AI will be capable of doing in five years, 10 years from now. The code I created for this experiment is completely open source. I'll be putting the link of the GitHub into the description of the video. Also, if I were you, I will subscribe to the channel because I will do the exact same video with the profile of a woman. And I think it can be extremely interesting how men will be reacting to the AI. Okay, we reached the end of this video. If you like this topic, I'm sure you'll be liking the video I've done about AI generated by art. It's completely mind-blowing and I recommend you to watch it. Bye for now.